Did you know that Sukubun Wall is physically possible, or that there are levels that are trillions of years long? In this video, I found the most insane facts that I bet you didn't know. The first one will probably ruin the way you see Geometry Dash forever. There are many vaults throughout the game, and can be used to get a bit of loot. But did you know that the Keymaster and the Monster in the basement actually have the same eyes? You'll probably never unsee this again. Most people think that Thomas is the longest level ever made, but that's not true. The actual longest level ever made is much longer. This is Nessus, a level with a length of over 10,000 zeros long. I don't know how this is even possible. If you enter absurd values into a trigger, you can actually crash your game. Let me explain. Normally, the limit of characters you can type in a trigger is about 45, depending if you're on PC or not. But if you use external tools, you can make the limit infinite. Of course, the game isn't meant to handle numbers that big, so it immediately crashes. There have actually been levels that got unrated due to them including this trigger, which is ridiculous. But do you know what else is ridiculous? Not being subscribed. Okay, but seriously, if you're enjoying the video, consider subscribing. It helps a ton. Did you know there's a secret icon that is unobtainable in vanilla GD? If you've ever been in the menu, you might have noticed this strange variant of the default cube. You can't unlock it, so why is it there? Well, there used to be a default mini icon in the earlier versions of the game, which looked like this, until you could change it in later versions. The reason for the icon appearing in the menu is due to Rump forgetting to exclude it from the icon list. It's pretty rare too, only having a 1 in 1000 chance of spawning. So consider yourself lucky if you see it. What is the rarest thing in GD? There are a ton of rare things, but one is actually insane. The chance of you seeing the exact icon you use with the exact colors as well is 1 in 1.6 million, or 0.001%. At that point, you'd have to be dreamed to get that. Of course, it's not going to be entirely accurate if you use glow around your icon, as you can't have a cube spawn with glow in the menu. Normally, a dual counterpart stays directly above a player, and you can't bring them apart. But by using a weird setup by spamming blocks, you can trick the game into separating them, allowing for some interesting player gimmicks. Did you know that there's actually a hardcoded limit to how many stars you can get? Once you pass this number, all future stars won't be displayed. But don't worry, to get to this number, you need a lot of dedication as you need to be over 3 million levels. So unless you're this guy, you don't need to worry. It is technically possible if there were infinite levels, since the average time of a level is 1 minute, and it's been 4 million minutes since GD's release date. The number in question is 16 million stars, but it actually used to be much lower. A few years ago, the star limit was a 16 bit integer limit, which is 65,000. We actually had players start overflowing into the limit, until Rob eventually changed it. There's an obscure feature that hardly anyone knows. By selecting two black orbs at once and clicking the edit special tab, you can actually change the rotation of the orb. The feature is kinda useless, but hey, this video is about interesting facts after all. Speaking of obscure editor features, you can actually change the easing of a teleport portal. Normally, the portal has an instant animation, but you can change the effect with this button. It's located where the group parent button normally should be, which in itself is already a feature not many know about, or at least know what it does. Something else that many people don't know about is the background in the menu. Many people think it's random, but it's actually not. The menu's background is decided by the last official level we've played, or the Stereo Madness one by default. The feature is a nice easter egg to know. After you beat a featured level, you get stars. With these, you can climb up the leaderboards, but that's not the case for these few levels. These levels, despite being featured, don't have any stars. But why? Well, in the earlier versions of the game, there actually weren't stars. Instead, you'd have to play levels for fun, which I don't think is possible. But despite there not being stars, there was still a feature system without creator points, which explains why these levels don't have any stars. But what's even more cursed is this level. This is by Rob Top, which is a mysterious level that uses illegal characters. If you didn't know, you actually can't upload levels with unique characters, making this even more special. The level was lost to time, until I made a video on it a few months ago, and about a week or two after I made the video, it completely vanished. There are a few theories I have on this, but I doubt Rob remembered a random test level from years ago. No clip is obviously hacking, but what if I told you there's a way to do it in vanilla GD? 
For some reason, while playing on 60 frames per second, you can actually clip through these slopes. They're supposed to kill you, but they don't. Why? Well, the thing is, the slopes are precisely positioned, so when the frames per second is low enough, you can actually skip the frame you die on, which is pretty weird. There are many levels in GD that somehow can recognize the attempt the level was on. The most famous examples being Helping Hand and 3 seconds held times 2 quadrillion. The reason for that is somehow, the collision trigger can save attempt data between attempts, which is something that shouldn't happen. This mechanic could be used to, for example, make you require multiple attempts to be the level. Let's just hope people don't put this at the end of a top 1 extreme demon. Sukupin Wall is an infamous impossible level in the community. The level is literally a wall, and I don't even know how it got popular. But that's not the point. The level is obviously deemed impossible for months. I mean, there wouldn't be a point in beating it, right? While setting your frames per second to over 3 million, the game gets so laggy that you stop moving, and you can even climb walls, allowing for this level to finally be beatable. Trust me, nothing in the community is impossible, except for touching grass, of course. The Far Lands originate from Minecraft, which is a world generation bug that used to happen in the 30 million block coordinate. But the Far Lands aren't just from Minecraft, they also exist in Geometry Dash, and are fairly unknown. The reason for this is due to the max level length being a pathetic 16 minutes, not allowing for anything strange to happen. But of course, when you remove the limit with tools, things get insane. Out of 100,000 blocks is when the first signs reveal themselves. It's subtle, but you can start to notice that your icon starts shaking in a weird way. Also, if you put a start position this far, the game will incorrectly position you as seen in the editor. Again, it's not that much, so let's keep going. Once you hit the 500,000 block mark, though, is when the curse stuff starts happening. Also, your icon shake is amplified, and your glow on your icon starts glitching off. On 1 million, you're still frozen, and the game starts having trouble rendering objects. But that's not the end of it. The maximum I can go is 3 million with this, which is probably the worst out of all of them. Your icon is probably the most distorted it ever will be, and nothing can work properly. The ground and background physically cannot move, and moving around in the editor is impossible as it keeps stopping you. The star position is at its worst and is absurdly stretched. This is the limit of how far you can go with this. I believe it's possible to go even further, but by then, GD is hopeless. It's also possible to go backwards in a level, and I was able to achieve over negative 11 million percent. However, it gets the same result as this does. Now that zero time speed is possible, let's go the other direction. Have you ever wondered how fast you can go in GD? And no, speed portals aren't the limit. The glitches I found in that video are absurd, so find out here. 